Okay, I'm just a uh, garage mechanic. Gas head. Yes, petrol head. And we've got a um, <laughs> a reputation for liking and having yes, lead in our right feet. Wham! It's for tire smoking. <laughs> well, then you've got the 40 mile an hour squad. These are people that think, right, they are law abiding citizens. But when it comes to 30 mile an hour zones, they won't do it. So, you know. But they, they, they cut in front of you and look in the mirrors and just say, look at me driving perfectly. Not only do they do 40 miles an hour in 30 zones, they cut over to the other side of the road. They actually cross the white lines. Now, these arseholes are complete twats. They break the speed limit through town anyway. Make out that you're a complete hooligan. And they're the hooligans. They are complete hooligans. They wind you up by stepping on the brakes in front of you and doing 40 miles an hour in 60 zones. And by the time you've done three miles in a 60 zone at 40 miles an hour and you're starting to get frustrated, you're gonna... Oh. Your language is just... It's just a bond... The words escape me how atrocious your language is. It's just, I come on this internet thingy, I click on this video thingy, I expect a little bit of common decency, and I get this blonded idiot swearing at me, and pointing at the camera, and telling me I'm an idiot! Idiot! Watch this video. I'm a police officer. By the way, I know a lot of police officers, and there isn't one police officer that I know sticks to the speed limit. In fact, one police officer that I know. As head of road policing for the Association of Chief Police Officers, the Reddit Hughes' views on speeding were unforgiving. He made those views clear in this commercial video, ironically made for drivers who want to avoid speed cameras. The British public is not just composed of drivers. Pedestrians, horse riders, the elderly, the young, all have a right to use the road. Not just petrol heads who want to go as fast as they like. Unfortunately for the Chief Constable of the South Yorkshire Force, he appeared to forget his own message when he went on holiday to North Wales. This is the A5, it's one of the main roads across North Wales and as you can see it's pretty busy. The national speed limit here is 60 miles an hour and there are plenty of warnings about speed cameras. Yet earlier this year while off duty, Chief Constable Hughes was caught speeding at 90 miles an hour on this very stretch of road. Here in North Wales, police take speeding very seriously. They're almost evangelical about trapping speeding motorists and make no apologies for who they catch. If they choose to break the speed limit in North Wales, irrespective of their status, profession, gender, race, they will be prosecuted by North Wales Police. Through his solicitor, Loretta Hughes today pleaded guilty to his crime. There was never an excuse for bad driving and I should have paid more attention to my speed. After he was caught, Chief Constable Hughes stepped down as head of road policing for ACPO. Now, I'm sure this bloke is probably a pretty good police officer. But unfortunately, in this country... Right, in... Sorry, I've dropped a bit of my camera. In this country... Um, in some counties, police will let you get away with doing 80, 85 miles an hour. In some counties, you can do 73 miles an hour and they'll be uh, flashing lights at you. Do 77 miles an hour and they are pulling you over for speeding. But, 
this bloke was doing 90 miles an hour. Now, some kids that do 90 miles an hour get banned from driving for dangerous driving. Police officers in the UK get away with a lot, especially you know, because they're, they're the law, basically. They're a law into themselves, some of them are. Some try to uh, uphold the law. Well, I know a couple that do try to uphold the law, right? But I know quite a few police officers. I knew them when they were young, what they were like when they were young. Yeah? Now, I know them, and I think to myself, well, if they're good enough to be police officers, I'm definitely good enough to be a police officer. Because I know what they got away with when they were younger. Yeah, and I know what they're getting away with now they're police officers. Dodgy tickets. The, the, the lad I'm talking about with the MR2, he definitely speeds. Definitely. I've seen him speeding and wheel spinning. Oh. Your language is just... It's just a bond, but words escape me. How atrocious your language is. It's just, I come on this internet thingy, I click on this video thingy, I expect a little bit of common decency, and I get this blonded idiot swearing at me, and pointing at the camera, and telling me I'm an idiot. Idiot! These these people are mad. These are these are the people that are supposed to uphold the laws. Thus, this means that they are pillars of the community, and we copy their actions. We try to emulate them. And while they're criminals, doesn't matter how big or small the criminal behaviour is. Yeah. So when you get your chief of police doing 90 miles an hour down an A road, well, what do you think we're going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to shout! Um, and what, what did, uh, you know, Greenpeace and uh, Friends of the Earth and all those lot do to uh, highlight global warming and the effects of global warming and things we can do? What did the scientists do to um, highlight all this? What, what do we keep on doing? We keep on using these things here pens and we keep on writing things down only today it becomes easier because we've got video cameras like what I'm talking to you on and we can document things even easier and you know people in power that are corrupt don't like technology don't like pens don't like people who can think about stuff then write it down unfortunately we can do that and that's all we've got to do I ain't know a police officer that does 120 miles an hour down the motorway yeah they should be tagged or something shouldn't they to make sure that they're upholding the law because we know they're police officers and when we see them breaking the law it makes us think shit we want to do that too you don't want to be falling down the motorway at 90 miles an hour. Just like the police officer. These are pillars of community. And they ought to act like pillars of the community. And when we when we see them not acting like pillars of the community, you ought to take us seriously instead of ganging up together and sticking up for each other's crimes.